everybody! Yeah, um, I have, I left my other camera plugged in and it's doing that weird thing where it gets red and black, so I, I'm using my Elgato. Which, you know, it's good. It's good. It is a little washed out though, so, you know. I need to go in and tweak the ISO. Anyway, thanks oh, for being here. So, thank you everybody for being here. Mark is going to come on again in a couple of hours. Uh, a couple of months, he said. So he wants to come and just hang out. Do only questions. He is such a great... I mean, honestly, you could spend a whole... I don't really like hanging out with people at bars, but Mark, hanging out with him at a bar, it's like three hours will pass by like this and you'll get so many great stories. So, And he was really excited um, to be here. So, at 8.30... Um, I guess Robin can't do jars tonight, so I'm gonna be Jeff's with Amy, Sean, and it's gonna be Amy, Sean. Like, actually, let me, I gotta um, do the follow button. So what we're gonna do is we're going to jars it out. And let's see. I'm going to enable the dynamic follow button. Activate as overlay. So you guys can see who we are going to be playing with. And I'm going to read a couple people's, um, read a couple people's, uh, you know, there we go. Jeff, Amy, and Sean. And that is button one, five, and seven. One, five, and seven. Great. All right. Publish changes. All right. So, okay. Who am I going to, who am I going to read the fortune of? Now, here's what I want to talk, talk to you about, okay? Um, I learned a little bit about more about Leonard Mon, okay? He has so many stories. Oh, he has a million more terror stories. Okay, and really more stories. Read your fortune. Bloody rotten, that is not gonna happen. Okay, so what we're gonna do is until 8.30, this is cutting my head off. Until 8.30, I'm going to read, I'm going to pull some cards. now. I did read about the Lenormand deck a little bit more, and here's the thing. Did you do the new setting that was recommended? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure. I do see a little bit of a blinking on the camera, so I think I might need to update. Coffin cards for all the mods. No! I'm gonna turn the AC on because I'm a little hot in here. Okay. So, so basically, for the Lenormand deck, it's a little less intuitive. It's more literal. So as a really awesome example, Long Live the Flog used to do boxing and he, they called him the bear. And I pulled a bear card for them, which was a surprise, but it happened to be the bear. So what you're supposed to do with a Lenormand card, and I'm learning still, so you're gonna have to just, um, I didn't actually study the card, so we're just gonna have to read it from the book again. Bye, Sea Strain. And thank you so much for all the gift subs and uh, bits that you guys dropped. I really appreciate it. So I'm sure what this entails. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, a lot of farts coming in. Great, we got our farts box. So I need to pull two cards. And so one of them will be sort of the noun, and one of them will be the adjective. And so those two cards together are going to describe what's going on with this reading, okay? All right. You fixed the sounds? I did? Okay, that's bizarre because I did nothing. I did nothing. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, chat was holding its farts in during the Mark Shepard interview. You know, I think Mark would totally be able to hand with a fart. So it's like Mad Lips then. No, it's... Okay, I'm going to read... They aren't doubling up, you're right. I don't know how, why that is. I fixed it. So Paris Giovanni is going to be enraged because they really like the double hearts. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do um, a reading for the first person I see in chat. So I'm going to pick two cards for this person and I'm picking one card. Now this is going to be the noun card and then I'm going to pick the second card. This is your adjective, okay? And so I'm going to flip these over for Bloody Rotten. Okay, that's the first person I saw, Bloody Rotten. This is it. So your first card, your noun, is going to be the lily. All right, that's really interesting. We haven't pulled the lily. 
The second card is the albatross. All right. These are interesting. We have not... After this, can you pick lottery numbers? No. Um, so we have not picked either of these cards last time. So we did not pick them. So let me see actually um, where... Um, my poor friend has to um, probably delay her wedding again for COVID, which is not cool. Um, where... Let me just ask Jeff Lewis what... What Discord channel? For tonight. Okay. So the lily and the albatross. So so the 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 noun is going to be the lily, which I'm going to oh, read interesting. the description of that one. And then we're going to try to surmise what's going on. So this is less about the intuitive, but more about the practicality of what these words mean. Here's the albatross. And let me find the lily. The lily, lilies, a sensual joy, a living thing, a dying thing. The lily is renowned for its beauty. A flower's bloom is a temporary thing and doomed to end. But while it exists, its petals are soft with a clinging touch. Stroking one is a tactile joy. And it is important to seize those little pleasures while you can. Okay. So, you know, I would say that perhaps we're talking about... Hmm. And I also have actually something else I wanted to read here. Uh, the lily is peace. No, no, it's not It's not really good. It is peace. It, it is temporary peace. So that is going to be our noun for the night. So peace plus the albatross is going to be the adjective. The albatross means retribution, causality, an, unexpec an inescapable path. The albatross is the truest emblem of what has been earned. As the bird flies alongside lonely ships. It is a welcome relief for tired eyes. So its very existence is a gift. But hung around its neck, it is heavy and an emblem for all to see of a callous mistake. Some decisions cannot be rectified. Okay, make the right decision. So to me, this is very interesting. Um, I will say that it means to me that you have earned your peace. So you have had an earned peace to me or a burdensome peace where you had to, to carry something very far in order to earn the peace that you have earned. So does that make any sense to you? <laughs> it is a peaceful retribution, exactly. So peace, peace, peace is the noun and the albatross is sort of like earned. So the earned peace that you have sought is either coming for you or you're feeling it right now. Does that make any sense to you? Yes or no? I have a husband and two kids. What is peace? <laughs> it does require effort. So either you've been struggling to find this peace or you have um, possibly uh, are looking to achieve it and you feel like you're, the burden is too heavy. You might be able to find that peace soon. Okay, great. That is, I don't know if that uh, makes any sense to you, but that's what you got. All right, let's do something. Let's do another one. No complaints. Bloody rotten. Yeah, sort of bloody rotten. So, I mean, is there unease in your life? Is there sort of like a separation from someone? So if that, I mean, a kind of peace is just feeling settled, feeling secure. Uh, so if you are... If you have been, um, either the, the, the peace is going to be uneasy or it's something that you have earned after a long time. So it's either around the corner or you're experiencing it right now. Can you, okay, so let's do one here. I'm going to pull two more cards. Everybody think about something. I'm going to pull two more cards and I'm going to pick somebody else out. There will be peace when you are done. Well, you know. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pull it. Rocket soup, I, I still remember that I picked the fox for you. Have you gotten out there and foxed it up as far as your wonderful board game goes? Inventory management. Okay, here we go. I've got one. This is your noun. That's your primary. This is the adjective that will combine with that. And the person is going to be Boss Hogger. 
Boss Hogger. Boss Hogger. Rocket Soup says I've done nothing I'm supposed to do. Okay, Boss Hogger. We got this. So your noun, the focal thing, is going to be... Oh, this is actually a really bad... This is not a great card. This is an interruption or a, a swift shock. Um, yeah, that is not a great card. Let me remind you of what this card is. This is one of the more negative cards. And so this is going to be the focal point of what's happening. It's not the coffin. It's not the coffin. So let's look it up. I'm going to read the, read the definition. Uh, the scythe. A cessation, abrupt turn, a reaping. The scythe falls sharply and suddenly in the path ahead, blade sharp and liable to cut anyone who doesn't heed its warning. Uh, it's something has come to an end ex unexpectedly or maybe even accidentally. The path ahead is either inaccessible or dangerous. Take caution when considering your next steps. All right. So something unexpected is going to happen, perhaps an accident, perhaps something just abrupt coming into your life. It's a sudden change. Thank you, MST3K Temple. You're gonna have a prostate the size of a grapefruit. I don't know about that, but you know, maybe. Um, and so this is your, this is what's going to modify that. The cat, okay? The cat, modifying the size. Now that's a very interesting one. The cat is um, an interesting card because it, it kind of does what it wants. So you can't capture a cat. The cat is a comfort, but on its own terms. So, a free will, a friendly shadow, a watcher on a high perch. The cat is here to please itself and that above all else. And that is not to say the cat is malevolent or a pure loner. It loves to have scritches, but one needs a sympathetic hand. Enjoy their presence while it's possible, but know that the cat is well beyond her control. Long live the flog, thank you so much for the gift subs. Um, the cat will scratch you if it's seized. So this is what I'm kind of, and I, I have another thing that I, uh, so the cat, yeah, I'm worried about the cat um, for you. And the scythe. The scythe is definitely something that I'm thinking, it's a surprise, okay? Perhaps maybe an unexpected one, maybe an unwelcome one, but it's an abrupt surprise. It's definitely gonna be surprising to you. And the cat is, to me, the cat is, is demanding it's a it's a bad decision perhaps there could be a don't tr i would say maybe um it's on its own terms so i would say that this this is an uncontrollable surprise and so you have to just deal with it like you deal with a cat you have to just let it ha let whatever is going to happen in your life happen and then deal with it don't try to fight it don't try to grab on to it you're not having a surprise heart attack. Yeah, a bad decision maybe, that's right. Um, I don't know about a bad decision because it feels like this is something that happens to you versus you make happen. So something unexpected is going to happen in your life and it's gonna be something that you can't control. You just need to um, uh, just let it do what it's going to do and transform at its behest versus trying to fight it. Because if you fight it, it's going to scratch you. Okay? Good one, right? Surprise coffin! Okay, here we go. Oh! DM Dem Deroff. D M D N Deroff. D. What kind of name is that? A surprise, but a loved one is watching your back from afar. Oh, that's a nice one. Rocket Soup says I had a. Okay. DMD wants to know about their internship, okay? <laughs> Most tarot readers will put a positive spin on it. Felicia, yeah, you're kind of fucked. Okay, DMD, you got a new internship. I'm gonna read this for you. At, at 8.30, we're gonna go play jars. Okay, DND, DMD, this is your, this is your, this is your noun and this is your adjective. Uh-oh, the anchor. The anchor is your noun, and your modifier is the mice. Now, this is anxiety. This is chatter, anxiety, scarcity. This is so, 
This is the modifier under which the anchor is. Now the anchor is uh, surety. It's going to ground you, but you're gonna be nervous about it, all right? Um, so let's read a little bit about these. This is actually a good one. They're modifiers. It's gonna be Jeff's tonight, exactly. So the anchor is means steadiness. Um, so for me, that kind of means that uh, you're gonna have this, here we go, I'll read it and then I'll interpret it. A foundation, a heavy, a heavy chain or a sure thing. The anchor is hidden security, invisible beneath the waves. Its presence is undeniable. As its roots, it roots everything connected. Without the foundation, the ship would be lost in the waves. Either way, the anchor could not be moved, only left behind. So this is good. So for me, like this is, um, this is going to be a good opportunity. So the, I would see, think the internship is the good opportunity that's gonna root you. And um, security, what makes you feel stable. And then the mice is stressful. Is The mice is going to be stress. So it's going to be stressful, but it is going to um, root you in good foundation that will see you through until you move on. So that's what I'm feeling about your internship. DMD, dim, 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 dim. And that kind of is good. So security and stress together. So to me, like, especially if it's a new thing, you're gonna have a lot of stress around it, but you should always think this is gonna be stressful, but it will give you security and give you a, a firm foundation. You're gonna learn a lot. It just might be stressful in the process of it, okay? All right, you can do it, good luck. Thank you for the gift subs, Shay, I appreciate it. I really appreciate that, thank you. You can do it. All right, one more. Let me see where Jeff Lewis said to go. Yeah, I need to print out this one thing because it gives you yours the same one on Sunday. Okay, good. I'm just gonna get in my um, Discord, y'all. Hello. Hey. Oh, interesting. What's going on? Hey, hold on. I'm gonna. Yeah, this is our computer. It's okay. I'm live, so don't say any anything bad. Hey, Jeff, can I read your cards? I'm going to read, cards? I'm going to do a reading. I'm doing a tarot, not tarot card readings, but it's kind of similar. Yes. Can I, can I read it? Hey, think, hey, yeah, OG how does that work? Do I have to give you some information? You want some information? Okay. Are you thinking yeah, about, what, is, is there? Do I have to tell you anything? Well, what are you, what are you, what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on career, personal? Like, is there something that I could, uh, you know, focus on for you? There's nothing to focus on. Okay, Jeff, come on, just f uh, career. Career. Okay, this is this is this is about Jeff Lewis's career, you guys. All right. Hold on one second. I'm plugging in. I'm really hoping I don't pull a coffin card. Oh, all working? right. Can you hear me? Yeah, oh, I can hear on. you. Hold on. I think I can. Hold on. I may have shit. Ah, uh, shoot. Thank you for the uh, follows, you guys. Turn on notifications if you can, because that's the only way you're ever going to see me on. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Hold on, Alicia. I'm trying to make the sound work. Hold on. All right, it's fine. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm reading your. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I pulled not a great card. I pulled the mice. So this is stress. This, the stressful um, chatter. I didn't. I actually didn't read. Let me read this one. The mice are back. Jeff, it's not good, okay? The mice themselves are not the trouble, but a symptom. They are the distant sound of a dripping pipe, the unopened letter collecting dust, the blinking battery indicator. Something has to be done before things reach a point of no return. These signals are quiet and easily ignored. Act now. Whoa. Okay. Act now? Like, uh before like a limited time offer all right and the modifier for this card is the anchor okay da, da, da. so um so basically what i'm getting from this is that you need to act there is security in the fact that you have a complete uncertain stressful you better act now job Je jeff it's not good 
Is he not here? Hey, J Sean, can you hear me? All right, screw everybody. All right, let me do one more. I'm gonna read another one for you guys. He's gonna drown on a ship full of mice. It's not good. Change is needed, but it will lead to security. MST Twig Temple, you are really good. You need to, every time I look and see your comments, I didn't I read for you last time, MST Twig Temple? Sean, could you tell Jeff his career in Pyro? <laughs> okay, packet of crisps. I'm gonna, um, it's not good. <laughs> packet of crisps, I'm coming for you, okay? I just saw your name and I, I, I needed to, uh, let's see. Shoofly, we are reading Lettermon cards until this is happening, until this stuff gets done. Jeff is muted. Sean is, I guess, trying to help him. I thought terrors were supposed to be uplifting. Listen, you're not, you're not coming to here to pay for a reading. I'm just giving you the straight juice. Packet of crisps. Here it is. All right. Are you thinking about something you want some help with? Packet of crisps. I'm moving to Sweden to do my master's in two weeks. So I'm really excited for this. Okay. This is exciting. You have a big, so you're trying to seek some insight into this big move. Okay. Packet of crisps. The house, yeah, the maison, okay. la maison. The house is your primary. And, uh-oh, the tower is your modifier, okay? This is not great. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. The house is a very good one. That means, um, is a sturdy foundation, a place to return. Uh, the house contains multitudes. Is the, the home a place of safety and reflection? Is home a departed place that looms tall in the past? Is the house a place to go or a place to leave? The querent must decide for themselves. No two houses are the same. So you are going to a new home. And I think that's a good thing. Um, the thing about the tower is that it is, uh, a it is, it can feel very isolating and lonely. Um, or it can mean ego. The tower cuts through the wholeness of the sky, a lofty loneliness. Inside there is safety but isolation. Its elevation can offer a big picture view. However, details are difficult to see from so high. The horizon is further but the solid ground. So what I'm hearing here, let me look at these adjectives too. Um, so let's see, uh, we have the home and we have the tower. So. Hmm. The tower is also, uh, could be government. So it could be legal. And this is just home. So for, for me, it feels like you're gonna move to Sweden and you're gonna have a new home there, but it you're risking it being a little bit lonely. So I guess your job is to work extra hard to make that not happen. So you're gonna, you're gonna have to work extra hard to make friends, okay? Stay focused and you will succeed. That's right. You have to depend on your own choices to build your own security. It's true. It's true. Aw. Long live the vlog. You had a, it was lovely. Everybody join the Discord because it's a really a, a wonderful place. And I read, I, I lurk in a lot of channels, video games, books. Um, season two of Keenan is being shot in Sweden. <laughs> Jeff and Sean, are you here? Mm. Doesn't feel like they're here. All right, I'll read another. I'll need to read another set. Hey, Felicia, you can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear Jeff at all? He said that you can't hear him. Can he speak? He's muted. I think it's so funny. He's in the room, like yelling into his microphone. So then, I think he thinks if he yells louder, it's gonna work. Ah, uh, okay. I'll be back. He I could, is, I could hear is him. This, is this what you read the tarot card about? What's going on right now? Um, tell Jeff that he has a lot of stress and insecurity in his career and he needs to make some changes uh, soon. Okay. And that's what the tarot card said. <laughs> okay, yeah, I wrote it down. Okay, I'm gonna go let, let him know and maybe, uh, that, maybe. That, explains, that explains the current situation right now. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Crystal Halloween Queen, read me, please. I have severe anxiety right now. Are you having anxiety because you don't want to be read? Or Crystal Halloween Queen. These are not great. I want to tell you, these are... <laughs> Crystal Halloween Queen, do you want to know about your anxiety? Okay. 
All right, let's do this. I have your primary is the letter. The letter is an arrival, something being announced. Okay, that is that is the main event, okay? And your modifier is going to be the ship. I've never pulled the ship before. Okay, so the letter is, let's see. The ship is one of the first ones. It's Are actually one of the, yes, hi. I'm gonna talk normally. Oh, okay. I can hear you, I can hear you. Okay, good. No, wait, did you do a read? Can you do, the, you did you do an entire reading without? Uh, without without hearing, you. hearing you. <laughs> yeah, but I'll tell you, I'm reading one other person. I'm finishing this up. Okay, um, go ahead. I'm going to go live on your channel right now, too. Just let you know. Great. The letter is an extended hand, a signature, a seal of wax. The letter is a single page that holds an important message. Direction is key. Who needs to hear these words? Okay. So you have, there's an important message that you need to receive, and it is modified by a ship, a distant horizon, a middle point, a sense of motion. Microphone check. There are calm waters around, but the ship is moving and momentum will carry you. So that was very interesting. Um, I'm going to look at these. I'm going to look at my we, phone. We need to get some music going as you do this. Yeah. Communication. So you have some communication that is going to be, I should have some like a uh, Ubi groovy one, right? Oh, Amy, go over to um, Felicia's discord so the ship means travel so you're gonna have to go somewhere to get some information that you need or some information is going to come from afar that you need it's pretty soon okay what happened to the zoom 